UNLIMITED POWER! Good afternoon guys, Brian here, and today I want to give you my impressions on the Tamashi FX Thunder parts. Um, so obviously yellow version and blue version. And just so you can get a quick view of the box. Alright, bam, here is the box. It is big and wide and big and wide. Um, just has some... Ah! I thought I ripped it for a second. <laughs> Uh, has some uh, cool things you can do on the back. Writing in Japanese, uh, descriptions of what the various parts are, more Japanese, more stuff, more see-through stuff. And I am going to get rid of this box from the rest of the video because they are big and in the way. Okay, so as you might have seen on the back of the box, it comes in several pieces. Um, each color comes with three smaller effects pieces which have a little bit C clip on them and some different lightning effects. You've got this guy, you've got this one, and you've got unlimited power. And these are both um, in yellow and in blue. Um, in addition, there is the big effect, which is the, the, the big guy. And this tip part here is another effect that you can have separately. So you can unplug this one. Actually, it comes unplugged. You have to plug it in yourself. Um, and then there's just a... Uh, oh, what is that? I think that's a 3 millimeter port. So you could take this uh, post or port and plug it into a Tamashi stage. Like, yeah. So you can have this effect be on its own. Unfortunately, the individual ones do not have that capability, but this big piece does. It has a 5mm port down at the bottom, which that's not a 5mm port. That is a um, whatever size that is. I think that's 3mm. Um, but yeah, you can plug that into a Tamashi stage too and get some cool effects with it. But I kind of get ahead of myself because this piece actually is two separate pieces as well. You can unplug these two from each other right there, and you've got this shuriken base looking thing. Um, and it has that 5mm port. Not, it, why keep calling it a 5mm port? It's that Tamashi stage port right there at the bottom. Uh, nothing on the top other than the uh, ports, uh, the, the post for the bottom part, the, the, this part. I can't speak. I can't speak. I can't speak. Um, this guy, though, does have his own porthole right there. So you can take a Tamashi stage and plug that in and have this guy be separate. So you could basically like take a figure and stick it in here and kind of get an electro kick thing. But that's basically everything that's in this is these five individual pieces, which I'm having difficulty getting in frame, but there they are. Now you can actually combine all stay say say there all of them. Um, you can take the uh, this one already has the tip piece, it has the middle piece, and it has the uh, bottom piece. But you can take the clip-on pieces and just kind of put them on this in various other places, like around these spiky deals. Um, in fact, I think that's actually where the things on the back show it going. But you can basically, well, they're clips. You can put them wherever they will stay. And that's really the crux of the thing, is getting these things to stay. But, yeah, you can make them look slightly different by adding some more of the, uh, the lightning effects. So I'm going to go ahead now and cut to some shots showing off these things in action. And then we'll come back with my final thoughts on them. So if you use them in the background, they're a bit better but they're still not exactly like the best lightning effects I would ever imagine. Also, tip, you can use the uh, clips for the Tamashi stages to clip onto that and make them stand up on their own. So there's my tip that I've learned with these things. You can also do the same thing with the, with the flame effects too. But yeah, it just looks weird in, in the background. If you're trying to like simulate a lightning strike like this, it doesn't really work. It just looks looks weird. Alright, admittedly, this is like one of the coolest ones I've managed to pull off with these uh, effects parts. 
Um, Frieza just looks good in this pose, and sandwiched in the middle of this uh, lightning effect actually looks pretty darn awesome. And my chair is squeaky. So you can get some good stuff with it, especially if you like really like zoom in and crop and things. That just looks awesome. So it's just a matter of like figuring out where best to use them. And to be honest, if I were doing this for a picture of Frieza, I would not have all the uh, the I would not have all the smaller effects on this. But I do for you know going overboard. But that does look pretty cool. And regardless of what fandom you're from, Beam Struggles are just awesome looking. Alright, so for my final thoughts on these things, I, I, I'm not all that impressed with them, to be honest. Like, they have a weird shape, especially this middle piece here. If this was more... Like, if, if I, it was more like this, I would be much more okay with it. But it's this weird, like, crackling, spherical, I don't know. It just isn't working for me. In addition, these clips, you'd think I would absolutely adore these because that's similar to these flame effects where you can clip these onto figures. But you might notice these bend so I can get them around things that they don't really want to get around. These things are A, sharp, B, much harder. They, they do not bend at all. So getting them around something like, say, a stage is really actually kind of hard. And usually isn't that easy. It's usually a lot harder to get around anything that even they theoretically would. And if you want to get around something that they, you know they wouldn't, like, say, a gun barrel to a weapon, that's not going to really happen. You can't really force it. <sighs> can't really get this okay fine prove me wrong right there but it is so much harder to get these things around uh, around things to use them than the flame effects are so these things are almost useless not quite useless but not not as not nearly as good as i wanted them to be so i suppose you're asking yourself self where does brian place this in terms of how they compare to the flame effects, or the uh, explosion effects, or the impact effects. Which ones is his favorite? Well, yeah, actually thinking about it for a second, I think I'd have to put the, the lightning effects at the bottom of my list. The, the explosions used to occupy that spot, but as I've used them more and more and kind of learned some tricks with them, they've, I've warmed up to them. They were still at the bottom of the list, and the impact effects combined with the flame effects, these are still the best things you're going to get. So if you really want my recommendation for any of the effects parts, the impact effects and the flame effects, they are the, uh, the go-to guys. Get two sets of these and two sets of these, and you can create awesome things. But on the lightning effects, it's just hard to use these guys. They don't really work well. They don't really seem like they fit in nearly as well as the flame effects. They like to fall off super easily. And just getting them to be in a position where you want them to be is just so frustrating. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not... Like, all those issues, I could stand if by the time I edited it, it looked awesome. I, I'd like them better if it looked awesome. But this just doesn't look awesome to me. It's just weird to me. It doesn't look like lightning to me. It doesn't look like electricity. It looks like just... I don't even know what this is supposed to look like to me. Granted, I'm not, like, angry that I bought these, and I'm not, like, upset about Tamashi for making these the way they made them. It's just... They don't tickle my fancy. They aren't something that I don't... Like, all the others, I, I'm tempted to buy more of, because the more of those I have, the better. Even the explosions and the, uh, the smoke effects. And the smoke effects are pretty... Yeah. But these guys, I think, I think I'm okay with owning just, just, just these guys. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of these. <clears throat> but I am curious to know what you guys think about these. 
How do they look to you guys? What do you think of the pictures? Uh, what colors would you guys prefer to these in? I'm curious to know what you guys think of them. So I also want to take a moment to sincerely thank those of you who have subscribed to us and continue to watch our videos and spread the word about us. You guys are amazing for doing that and we can't... You're the reason we keep doing this channel, so thank you so much. Until next time, guys. Lightning never strikes in the same place twice, but I always do. Heyo! No, no, that didn't work. That 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 was kind of weird. Crack a boom!